cabinet approved the proposed revised rates of duty facilitation of facilitating allowances for public officers. The revised duty facilitating allowances include night allowance within and outside Uganda, safari day allowance, lunch allowance, transport allowance, and seating allowance among others. I have, for example, a military driver who is also, uh, then I have an escort or a police officer for ministers and other people. If I, if I go for duty and I stay somewhere in a, a good hotel, reasonably a good hotel, my escort or my driver must go and look for some kafunda in Ugaise because that's what he can afford uh, at the rates of allowances they have. Now that compromises his ability to be where I am. If it's an escort, it compromises the ability to, it compromises the sec his security and the security of the officer he takes charge of. So it's important, the cabinet found it important to bring that together, to, to close the gap, so that then they can also live and manage their life. For example, a permanent secretary currently from 2008 is entitled to 160,000 shillings as per diem. Per diem means the money they give you as an allowance to facilitate you to go and do duty out of station. It's an out of station allowance. Now 160 means you have got to get your accommodation from that money, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, when you look at that 160,000 for, for PS, he'll be sleeping in a kafunda somewhere. <laughs>